Manage Engine is the Enterprise IT Management Division of Zoho Corp. So we have around 4,000 employees all focused on the Enterprise IT Management and we have offices around the globe. So we are into our 20th year. For the last 20 years, we have been focused on solving this Enterprise IT Management problem, either on-prem, cloud or hybrid. And now this is our 16th year in Jitex. So it is ex it's great to see the energy and the vigor out here. Last two years we couldn't come because of you know the obvious reasons, but this year it has been great and we are happy to be here. We also had taken a bigger booth. We have become a silver sponsor this time and we are looking forward to a great interaction in Jitex. So one of the uh, big things that we are doing in Manage Engine is like we are opening a lot more offices around the world and one of the most important things we are doing is having a lot more feet on the street to work closely with the customers as well as with the partners. So towards this, we have been meeting a lot of customers, understanding what kind of issues they are facing, what kind of features they would like to look at, and what kind of solutions they would want from Manage Engine. And we have been having a great interaction over the last half a day, and we are hoping to have a lot more over the next two, three days. And with respect to showcasing uh, uh, our plans in Manage Engine, so we are showcasing all the solutions that we have developed so far, be it IT service management, IT operations management, IT security, endpoint management. And there has been a lot of focus from Manage Engine on IT security. Apart from this, we are also announcing the launch of Cloud Spend, our Cloud Spend Analytics platform, with which we are already launched on AWS. Now it's becoming multi-cloud with support for Azure 2. So our cloud observability platform is Site24-7. It has been in existence for the last seven to eight years. And now we are launching a cloud cost analytic platform called CloudSpend. So we had launched CloudSpend earlier to support AWS. And in our uh, survey with our customers, we have found that more than 65% of the customers use more than one cloud. So they would use an AWS cloud along with Azure, or an Azure with IBM cloud, or an IBM cloud with Oracle cloud because they would prefer to have multiple choices. So towards that, we have extended our Cloud Spend platform to support multi-cloud, that is both AWS and Azure. The main idea of Cloud Spend platform is to have a control and check over the cost that an enterprise spends in the hypercloud or in the public cloud, plus also meet the compliance goals. So with respect to AWS, we have been having a great run. And once we found out that more than 65% of the enterprises have more than one cloud, so we are making it more of a platform and we'll be supporting more such clouds in the future. One of the uh, biggest problems that enterprises face is data is in silos. So there would be an IT service management tool, there would be an IT security tool, there would be an IT operations tool, there would be an endpoint tool. In all these things, there's a lot of data out there which is in silos. So the blended analytics of data which is a most important thing of mixing data from multiple tools is a very important uh, criteria to be met by the enterprise. So towards this, Manage Engine Analytics Plus is available in multiple uh, deployment options. It's available as, a, as an on-prem software which you can download and install and collect data from multiple data sources, mix it together and get the reports that you would want. And we are also it's also available as an on-cloud software. Apart from this, the Manage Engine Analytics Plus software can be installed in any hyper-cloud of choice that the customer wants. So if the customer wants, they could take this software, which is an analytical software, and install it in AWS or Azure, and then mix data in a hybrid environment, both on-prem and on-cloud, and gain insight. For the last couple of years, AI and AI, AI ops has gained a lot of traction. So if you look at it from an IT security angle or IT operations angle or IT service management angles, there are a lot of use cases where AI, AI and ML can actually augment the human capability and make the human being more efficient. So for let's take a simple example. If you take something like IT security, before AI ML entered the picture, you had to set up static rules based on when a person logs in, what kind of actions they do, and all that. But AIML is an interesting tool where it is able to glean patterns from the data that is already existing with the IT team 
and is able to come up with automated rules. So from a very static rule based approach, it becomes a very dynamic pattern based approach. And based on that, it could raise security tickets. Not only that, in the IT service management, prop, IT service management platform, once the security tickets have been raised, it can auto categorize it, then look at who solved it last time and assign it to the same agent. And when the agent logs in, it can also give a lot more information so that the agent is able to solve the problem automatically. So AIML and AI Ops has a very big role to play in IT operations. In Manage Engine, we have been working on AI, AI and AI Ops for the last eight to 10 years. And we are ensuring that all this benefit is available in the variety of Manage Engine tools that have been in existence for the last 20 years. So it's not like you have to pay something separately or go and buy something fancily for something like an AI ops. It's available as a part of our Manage Engine tools wherever it is necessary. UAE and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have been very big growth markets for us, especially in the last two, three years. So we are looking at the options of setting up data centers here, we are, and we are also setting up offices in both the places, and we are also increasing our feet on street. Our growth rates are exceeding 30%, especially when the other areas and other regions are actually having a slowdown because of uh, global factors. So surprisingly, Middle East, UAE, and Kingdom of Saudi, Saudi Arabia has been a great market for us. Hopefully it will be so going in the future and we will continue with our investments in these two markets.